Hello boys and girls. So we just finished our very first game of the new season. Pre-season match against Sydney FC um, and a very, very comfortable 2-0 win. Now, I know you cannot take a lot from these friendlies. They're more about fitness and integration. Um, but I was very, very happy with the performance we did put in. Um, first half, especially, we played really well, um, played some really good football. Um, and, but we was only let down by the finishing from Welbeck and most notably Theo Walker. Um, second half started off with the same um, that we finished with, apart from Petr Cech was changed in goal for Martinez. And again, it was pretty much the same story. Welbeck, uh, Walcott, wasteful. Welbeck also missed a penalty. Um, and then just before the 70th minute mark, yep, Arsene Wenger in his uh, famous 70th minute substitutes. Um, he goes and makes a whole host of them, um, makes a lot of changes. Um, and he brings on Alexandra Lacazette. Within five minutes, the guy has put the ball in the back of the net. It really, really is that simple. The guy, I feel, is what we've been missing. He's a poacher, a goal scorer. When he's in that box, there's only one place that ball's going. Um, people will say it was a tap-in. But if you pulled that ball back to Theo Walcott, it would have probably ended in New Zealand. It's, like I said, I feel that that is what we've been missing. Someone who can score them chances. When we have quiet games and we might only create one or two, he's the type of player that's going to put the ball in the back of the net. Whereas before, we were missing them chances, losing matches, not winning matches. Um, and, yeah, like I said, that is... What I feel we've been missing. I compared the guy to Ian Wright, the modern day version of him, and I stand by it. I feel that he's going to score an absolute bagful in this team. Um, and I'm really, really excited about what the future holds. Um, the rest of his game, I felt was really good. His link up play, his first touch, his passing, his movement, it was all very encouraging. Um, in terms of other players today, there was a few young lads out there. I thought the young lad, uh, Bramall, at left wing back, had a very, very good game. Um, but for me, the one that stood out was Reese Nelson, 17 years old. Very, very comfortable, fast, um, confident. Very, very promising future ahead. How much first team game time will he get this season? Probably not a lot. Um, and he's still got a lot of learning to do, but... Yeah, it's very, very promising. Um, young lad Willock in uh, centre midfield had a very, very solid game. Nearly scored a really good goal. Um, Bielek at the back I felt was comfortable. A um, bit ropey a couple of times um, alongside Murta Saka. Uh, but he'd done the job. He was decent. Um, but I feel he might go out on loan again this season. Um, Kalasniac um, played on the left-hand side at the back three. I don't feel that that's where his position is going to be this season. I think he will play in that left wing back role. Um, very solid, very comfortable. Um, overall, very good performance. So, yeah, like I said, it's not so much about the performance today. It's more about fitness and integration. Um, it was the same old story for me with the likes of Theo Walcott. Um, I feel that if someone will pay his wages, which are about 140 grand, I don't know who else would pay that kind of money but I, I do feel that it's time for him to go it's I know he does score goals but I just don't I don't know what he actually contributes to the team overall it's last season yes he had a good goal scoring record but his overall play is poor and I don't know whether he's lacking in confidence or it's just his ability I just don't see how this guy's progressed anywhere really so it's sad but I just feel it's time to move on. If we do get the likes of Lamar over the line, I can't see Phil Walcott getting in the team. Um, Oxley chamberlain was very good when he come on as well. Um, we definitely need to tie that guy down um, and get him signed to a new contract as well. Mesut Ozil was very good today. Uh, worked really hard. Some very, very, very good passes. Um, and overall, yeah, yeah, not too bad. Danny, Danny Welbeck. 
like I said, a bit wasteful in front of goal, but I think that he could be useful. Um, but nah, not near the starting 11 right now. Not near the starting 11. So we got another game again on Saturday. Um, so I feel that you'll probably start with what we finished with, which means we might get a good 60 minute look or so at Lacazette um, and a few other players. So, so far, so good. First game of the tour. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm not moaning. I'm not ranting. Um, but we won. So it's all right. Um, and a big birthday shout out as well to my eldest son, um, Kieran, who's 17 today. So not a bad present for him. All in all, it's all good. We roll on.